Today we're going to be checking out a brand new song from ERA. It's been a hot minute since we've gotten anything new from ERA. The last thing we got I think was the deluxe release of their self-titled album. And now they seem to be kind of maybe teasing or rolling out something new. Uh, they just dropped a new single. And uh, I'm a little bit late on this one, but I'm very excited to check it out. Let's just not waste any time and get right to it. Definitely sounds like Era. I like the guitar part here, the low, like, not chords, but the riffs sit in the background. For the sync screaming? Oh, J2 got a little bit of sing in there too, I like that. Nice and simple music video. Ooh. Little switch up. Nice harmonies. Okay. That big chorus. We love Jesse's voice, man. Super underrated, I think. That's dark. Oh, okay. Oh, why do I get wicked under oath vibes from just the the atmosphere here? Woo! <laughs> Harmonic riff, man. Bringing out that bridge section. Hello. Vocal effects, that's cool. That riff, man, is so sick. Alright, that was Era with their new track, Pale Iris. Let's break it down. Man, that was really, really great. Honestly, one of the best Era tracks I've heard. I don't know if I'm just warming up to this band more or if they're changing in a way that I really like. 
probably the the former. But I don't know, something about this song, it just really clicked with me. I really, really enjoyed the melodies, the riffs, everything about it. It was just, I don't know, more to my taste. I don't know. I really enjoyed Jesse and JT's clean vocals. I loved that JT got some cleans in there. And he got some like sing screams in there as well. A little bit more variety from his voice. I think honestly that's one of my biggest critiques. I, just, I feel like JT has like a mid and a low and there's not a ton of variety there. So I'm loving that we got some clean, some sing screams and a little bit more of a, a variety and spice from his voice in this song. Super, super great. I really enjoyed the unpredictable song structure, like the verse two kind of went off in this meandering melodic section before going back around to the chorus. Breakdown was really long, which led into a bridge section, which went back to the chorus. Very, very cool. It, it, just nothing too earth shattering or crazy, but just enough to keep you uh, on your toes and interested and keep it a little bit fresh. I loved, loved the riffs in this song. So many bands these days are making use of natural harmonics in the riffs, and man, I love it. I can't get enough of it. It's so unexpected and interesting every time they do it, and I really, really enjoy it. I gotta learn some of these riffs myself, honestly. Overall, this is honestly one of my favorite era tracks I've ever heard. Um, This is definitely going straight to my regular listening. And uh, I'm super stoked to see what they've got coming up next. Let me know what you guys thought of this one in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel. That's going to do it for you today. I'll see you in the next one.